Hello everyone, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today I am going to discuss Dextra algorithm application which is a game map with very easy code example and this is continuation part of graph data structure series. So let's move ahead without wasting time. As you can already see on the screen all the green sections I have already covered. The only one which remains is Dextra algorithm game map. Okay, so I strongly recommend you to watch all the previously recorded sessions those will really help you to understand all the concepts that I have already discussed in my previous sessions including basic data structure to the digital algorithm in my last video okay so let's move ahead without wasting time so just to start with the digital algorithm application in terms of game map I would like to give you a brief quickly so digital algorithm to calculate distance from a starting node to all the nodes located in the graph and then you can easily get not only the cost of connection between two nodes but also find nodes that are between the start node and end node okay and it always favors the lower cost so this algorithm solves the single source shortest path problem means we have to provide the starting node and we know where we want to go the digital algorithm basically start at the node and then you choose and it analyzes the graph to find the shortest path between nodes the digital algorithm keep tracks of currently known shortest distance from each node to the source node so that it can update accordingly these values if it finds a shorter one so once the algorithm has found the shortest path between source node and another node that node is marked as visited or you can say relax and add it to the path so this is the way by which we can get all the visited nodes and we came to know okay this is the shortest one and we also know this algorithm can only work with positive values and it cannot work with negative values or you can say this is the disadvantage of this algorithm as well okay now let's move ahead and focus on the game map so this is the final output of our application that I am going to discuss today. As you can see, all the white dots are showing the shortest path to reach from this point to this last point, or you can say from this white starting node to the last one. Okay, and how we are generating this whole board? We are using the string array in that we are containing multiple zeros and ones, where zero says true, and which is a possible path or that can be the possible path and we are depicting this with the help of green color and where we have once we are saying this is the blocker for the path means we cannot move to this path the red one all the greens are available but we have to make sure we are moving through the shortest one i know the best way to explain is through a practical example and yes i will definitely i will do that and I strongly recommend you to watch previous videos to see in detail how text algorithm works. In my last video, I explained that in very detail. Let's switch to the Visual Studio to see how we can implement this solution. This is my Visual Studio and this is the same solution that I was using in my all previous videos. And you can see this is a very simple ASP.NET Core blank application and I'm using this application just to print the output on the console. Okay, and today definitely we are going to discuss how we can show the game map with the help of Dextra algorithm application. Okay, now you can see the starter program and if you are already a follower of this graph structure series, then you know how I am going to utilize the solution. So whenever any section I want to run, I just uncomment that one and the comment the comment the other one that I don't want to use. So in this case, if you, if you if you see other section like this is the commented one and if I see this one, this is the uncommented one. It means I am going to run this one. Okay, so to explain you the game map application with the help of Dextra algorithm. So these are the prior steps that we need to do. So very first, what we are doing, we are creating a string array in that we have these lines. These are total 70 lines or from the column point of view, we have these 25 columns and the values are 0 and 1 and we will convert these into true and false. Okay, let's see how we are doing it. So we are creating a one map with the help of which is a 2D array and we are saying it is a map and we are saying its length will be 
the line start length which will be 17 and the columns which is 25 okay then we are looping through this okay let me do one thing let me put breakpoint here let me show you how it's how it's working at runtime i think that will be the uh, best way to explain this one let me hit here run and see i have selected the solution from this menu so that i can see the console out okay i have just clicked here and very soon i will get the breakpoint on my machine okay as you can see this is the output that i can expect but definitely a breakpoint should be here here is our breakpoint so as you can see till this point i can see my lines array is created and what it has total 16 rows from 0 so we can say it is 17 rows and we have 25 columns okay now what we are doing converting this string lines into a true and false array and how we are doing this we are just passing each row column value to either it is 0 or 1 okay and see because it is a boolean array so that will convert into true and false let me put my breakpoint here and hit f5 okay now my map 2d array is ready you can see total 17 rows and if i see in one row we have total how many we have 25 columns from 0 to 24 and every column has values is true true false false and these are designed according to true true false 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 in this way okay it is pretty straightforward till this point now what we are doing here we are utilizing our existing class which is the weighted graph okay and what we are saying we want to create a undirected weighted glass okay because we are saying we are passing false to the is directed parameter and we are passing true for is weighted parameter so in this way we are creating class so if you want to go deeper in this class how we have created this one so i strongly recommend you to watch the previous videos okay now we are applying two loops because we are dealing with in a metric manner because they are rows 17 they are columns 25 okay now if i say row and column both are zero it means i am pointing to my row zero and column one and there i i can recall the value zero and we know value zero is treated as true value with the help of map that we have already created right the very first row and the very first column is true so it says true in case of true it's it will go inside and it will create a from node okay because now we want to check one node how many neighbors it contains actually okay so we are giving the name to this node is i hyphen j i value 0 j value 0 so our column name or you can say your node name will be 0 hyphen 0 so once our from weighted graph node is created so its name is 0 hyphen 0 with neighbors nothing okay at this point of time then we are checking if i greater than zero we are talking about okay it is not the start of the row and then we are checking in map i is equal to zero j is equal to zero and it will only work when i greater than zero so definitely we will not go into this we will go to the next one again j is not equal to zero so we will not move here so at this time we have only created from node but not the to node when we have both from and to node only then in the graph we are adding the edges let's say i am putting breakpoint here when we will get one definitely we will go inside hit f5 so here you can see now because in the next loop j will be greater than zero means j will be one and here i is again zero because we are going for the first row which is i and j is equal to one one minus one zero so we are saying map zero and zero again this will return what true okay so in case of true we are creating two node and in two node we are finding either this zero hyphen zero is already available or not and if it is not available then we will consider this as a two node and we will add as an edge okay because because what we are doing we are mapping from first node to second node in the very first row or you can say in the very first line and every node because in matrix form we will say the first column and the second column so this is the relationship between these two so in this way all of the these two for loop will work if i 
place my breakpoint here and if I remove these two at the end I will show you how output will look like hit F5 so now in the graph you will see let me show in this way there are total 208 count total nodes I have 208 and in the very first row you can see index is 0 there are two neighbors one is 0 0 1 1 okay the second neighbor is 1 and from for that it is 0 0 1 1 and 2 0 so these are the neighbors it is very simple straightforward code you, you just have to look at one more time so you will be easily able to understand for example for first node there's only two neighbors this one this one and for the second one there are multiple neighbors so this is very straightforward one now according to the dextra algorithm we have to provide source node and we have to provide target node so in source node we are saying it will be zero and zero so definitely that can be the name and it is also supported by our application game map as well initially we saw and we are saying 16 row and 24th column is the one where i want to reach so this is my source this is my target so both are ready now again i am utilizing the same get shortest path extra method that i used in my last session to discuss in detail of it so what it will return it will return the list of edges which are making the shortest path if i see here total 44 edges we got through which we can reach to the from 0 0 starting point to which what is the last one the one that we have selected 16 24 so total 44 edges are there now out of those 44 the only thing which is remain is we have to print this information on the board okay so how we are doing it so we know the map length it is 70 we know the map map length it is column it is 25 okay now we are saying by default wherever in our map board we have zero we will consider that as green otherwise we will map it as red which is a blocker so simply we are checking either it is row or column it is zero it means we are considering it's true then we are putting it green okay but what we are doing if that row and column or that node is coming in this uh, is part of this path uh, weighted edge uh, list so in that case we are changing the color to white same thing we are doing path in path uh, list we are finding either is it is matching with the current row and column which is already exist in the from node or to node in that case we are making its color white and what other things we are doing we are just say setting for color also to white which is again coming from here and we just came out and out of the box we are setting the default value for foreground color is gray so it is very straightforward implementation of this so if i hit f5 here again let me remove this waypoint so if i hit f5 so you will see the final output this is the output finally you got here okay so here you can see it is start from 0 0 and it is reaching to this point and this is the shortest part and how it find it goes straight down straight and in this way it find the shortest one and just you know avoiding all the blockers which are there okay so let's go back to the presentation i hope it is clear for you and it is quite interesting as well i hope uh, you enjoyed that ex explanation how game map is implemented using next algorithm okay so let's uh, move ahead so just a recap of it what we have done so we have a game map we have the board or you can say array of string values through that we generated a board and we are finding the shortest path between two places and we know the two dimension array we have and on the basis of that we created zero and one values converted them into true and false array so we can check where we need to create the from node and to node and just to find out what are the neighbors and what are the blockers total we have 17 rows and 25 column and we are using these colors green available red blocker and white is the part of the solution okay so within such loops we are um, checking either places available we are creating from node and to node okay so i hope uh, you know at the end you know we are also calling the get shortest path dextra algorithm method that we have 
in discuss detail in my previous session i hope it is clear for you what we are doing actually in this session only for the game map implementation okay not the distra one so i hope it is clear for you if you have any doubt any uh, issue with this you can drop a comment in the comment box i will try to answer on that as soon as possible and your feedback is very important because that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos so see you in the next video very soon. Till then, bye-bye.